Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, Dyslexic Gamer, as we carry on our um, tabletop RPG night with uh, a toast to the God Emperor's Light, episode three. Elias, what is that name? What? Zero two is waifu. Who the fuck? <laughs> Duka, I. <laughs> so zero two has a waifu. Um, no, it's it is waifu. I do not is. even know what zero two is. Is that is, that's not even binary? Do I really want to ask? No, I don't think we want to ask. I think we just want to condemn him to heresy. Um, no, I just looked at who he's talking about. Yeah. Why did you look it up? He never looks up something that Duca tells you to look up. <laughs> badly. That ends oh, it was a sufficiently voice. anime name that I knew I, I was safe. Well, that, that's one way to start a stream. Certainly is. Uh, so last time... Well, we need to keep it interesting somehow. Yeah. Um, our group of... Uh, not quite acolytes yet, but our group of uh, Imperial... Um, citizens for now uh, went down to a forge world they actually managed to capture um, the tech priest who is in question um, they have also brought along someone else who may be mm, the mechanicus would like back uh, they have got some clues and some things to research they are also carrying in their ship the corpse of one of their comrades um, who sadly fell in the battle against the tech priest. And the mutilate corpse at uh, that. Yes. Um, you have, your ship has been given permission to dock with the interrogator's ship, the Emperor's Judgment. You land in the docking bay and you are told by the pilots that you are to all leave the ship and go to the guards waiting. As you leave, you are met by the guards that you saw before. These individuals are in black carapace. They have shock batons and riot shields. And they lead you off to separate rooms where you're able to sit down. They have a data slate there and the only thing the guards tell you is write your report once you're done wait here until the interrogator wishes to speak to you okay so for that for that report um if the gem would like to look at my um at my journal, I would like to essentially um, note down everything I wrote down under the arrival and confrontation chapter without anything that could, without personal thoughts or things that are irrelevant to the cause, like me grabbing a vial of blood of the, of the uh, Abaites. Okay, so you're going to leave that out. Um, we will start off um, with uh, Dionogies. Had to think of Hello. for a mo moment. Um, I keep defaulting to Diomedes every time. <laughs> every single time. I have a feeling I might just make a secondary backup and call him Boreal. Don't you fucking dare. I mean, you have to be bold then. Oh, yeah, so he would won't. there be anything that you would leave out of your report? Would there be anyone that you would perhaps promote or praise um, out of the people that you have met, fought beside, and indeed watched one of them die? No, everything would be uh, exactly as I saw it, unopinionated, uh, uh, without any like re possible reasoning behind it, just this is what I know, this is what I've seen, this is what I think has happened. Okay, so you're basically going to give uh, give your first hand account of um, what happened as it happened, um, including a uh, dumb shit I may have done. Oh, you're going to own up to that. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very, very good. Um, Miss Amanda. Sorry about that. Jesus! That's my name. Deja vu. No, I'm going to talk about that song stuck for, in my head for the entirety of the night. Amanda's report is going to be short, brief, and to the point. She's not going to praise anybody. She will mention that if that Diogenes may have compromised us a little bit, and that Alexa need, needs to learn control, but I don't know that she's not going to mention much. She's just going to praise the dead man, but she died during his duty. Praise the dead! Mm. Okay. Um, Miss Alexa, uh, would there be anything in your report that you would leave out, or anything, anyone who you would praise? I'm just thinking about praise, because it'd be the only person who kind of gets a damning damning thing would be along the lines of Diogenes showed up uh, quite quickly, the cover was blown. It wasn't blown fully, we had damage control. And we managed to successfully kind of do damage control. And on top of that, it would it would also be I would own up to the fact I went to murder the guy. However, when I explain it, it'll be like I let my faith take too like I let my faith be too strong and overwhelm me. So it comes across as I was just being insanely devoted rather than trying to intentionally break orders. Okay, so again, you own up to your to your um, weaknesses, and but you explain it in a way that it wasn't bloodlust; it was just my my faith. I mean, the entire thing probably reads as like my faith got me through this, but yeah. Okay, no, that's that's good. Um, and then we have ghost. Oh no, sorry, I already did ghost, didn't I? Um, and I'm reading through your your journal now. Yeah. So. Anything that would um, essentially be harmful to my to my reputation is left out as as well. Yes. Yeah, so anything that's harmful to my personal reputation is left out, and, I've, and otherwise everything is still in there. Okay, fair enough. So essentially, the parts where you like take take your comrade's blood and, and so yeah, forth. or I just tell I don't, or just. Yeah, fuck. Like, also the parts where I might be extremely like critical to an to an irrational degree. Like, if I have a clear reason, like he literally just blew a fucking cover. Like, the thing with Diogenes, I still put in because that's literally just stupid, and I will call him stupid for that in the report. Okay. I will not mention anything bad about the rest, apart from perhaps they're a bit... Yeah, I know that was just in the meeting part, so that's not actually in the report, because meeting is not part of the report, that's just personal. Okay, fair enough. Um, so you are all left in these... They're almost like cells, yet they do have beds, and there is a small table and chair, and... On that uh, table, there are a couple of nutrient packs and uh, water packs. And it takes you a, maybe 10 minutes for others, a couple of hours to write your report. But it takes another two to three hours. Not all of you have watches, so not all of you can tell. Um, before there is a knock on the cell door. And of course, you can't open your cell, but the door opens shortly after knocking. And um, Dionyges, are you still around? Uh, I probably would have just sat there and read my thing. Okay, so we, then we'll, we'll go, we will go with you first. Um, as the door opens, you sit there reading your, your data slate, or perhaps going back through your book that's so precious to you. You don't notice the individual at the door as he steps in. As soon as I do I eventually notice him, I'll just sort of like quickly like close my book and hide it. Oh, he, he sees it. 
as you turn round and see the interrogator stood there. Dionogies. I give him a weak attempt to, uh, to smile. I have need to speak to you personally. I know that you are a knowledgeable man. You have a ability to notice things that others wouldn't. However, this gift of yours, and he gestures to the book that you tried to hide away, whilst it is a gift... I'll just sort of like look around aimlessly like, what? It is also a curse. Not knowing what you can tell people, and what you can, is the reason you are in this situation in the first place. However, I have a task for you. You are a man who can notice small details in mundane things. I wish you to watch your comrades. Do not treat them poorly or suspiciously, but I want you to give reports. I need to know that there is at least someone in your warband that I can trust. I can I roll either intelligence or something else to sort of be like, why does he want me to do this? Is it for an ultimate, uh, an alternative reason? You could roll um, scrutiny. Mm. I, I could, but I'd rather not. You'd probably need to roll fellowship. I feel that to try and look into him would be more of a fellowship thing. Um, Ta Tactica Imperialis? You could roll Tactica Imperialis, sure. I don't admit, I find this almost hilarious. You will know how to best No wait, is that Tactica Imperialis down. fellowship? No, it's intelligence, it's a lore skill. No, you can roll lore skills as fellowship. I what? will, I will you accept, can do. I will accept your, your role because you did get a success. And, yeah, it might be near what your fellowship is. Who knows? I'm not going to look. Um, as he says this to you, you begin quickly racking your mind for, like, what he could mean, what he wants. And you remember quite a few accounts of officers wanting to know what's going on with the group. Having not so much moles, but having informants, having someone who perhaps will get more favour for performing certain jobs. I'll just sort of like uh, awkwardly nod and be like, so is this a weekly report? And you then sort will of have like... to give reports whenever you do a mission. Um, it is how the Inquisition works. And in those reports, I'd like you to note down if any of your comrades show oddities it's to a certain degree it is not a problem however in this line of work we have a tendency to uh, we have a tendency to attract things that no mortal wishes to be around and it would be most useful to me to know that in your reports you will mention if you see anything untoward with one of your comrades. I'll sort of just state that I was going to anyway, just write whatever and everything. And then I sort of like, sort of like try and sift through the stuff. But after about a minute of going through all the, all the everything I've written down, it'll probably like stop me or something. Um, if uh, by now you would have finished your report, so he does hold a hand out to the data slate um, that was on the table, the one that you've put your report on. We will say that uh, Dionogy's hands the data slate over and the interrogator turns around and walks out the door. 
and it shuts behind him. Um, you all get a knock at the door, but this is from a guard. Um, as he opens the door, he requests that you hand over your data slates. Uh, the ones that you were left to give your, if you have a private one, that's yours. Also, I also ask if I need to give any extra evidence that would be useful with the data slate. Okay, <laughs> sample I had. Uh, the guard informs you that you should keep that on you until you have um, the meeting with the interrogator. Then I'll just hand over the data slate. Hands over the data slate and that's it for Amanda. I will take it that everyone hands one over. Um, after the guard leaves, another three hours pass. Could be two could be four for those of you who don't have a watch uh, and there is another no actually sorry this time the door opens and a servitor is there and it instructs you all to follow it and to bring anything that you wish to show the interrogator You are all led down dark corridors. These corridors are beginning to feel more familiar as you walk into the darkness and a hidden door opens. Again, you are dazzled by the light of the room. Some of you instinctively actually shield your eyes because deja vu. Mask. Don't need to shield my eyes. True. Mask. Some of you have masks. Don't, don't, don't say deja vu when Duca's here because we know we both know what we're going to default to. It's all right. He, he went. He went off to the door. <laughs> you got lucky this time. Uh, you all enter the room, and the interrogator is not there. Uh, however, Walter is, and he stands there and ah, um, welcome everyone. Uh, please take a seat. The interrogator is dealing with the Mechanicus at this moment in time. Um. By all means, would anyone like a uh, drink? I assure you it is not being tampered with this time. I do not care. The last time was not poison, so I trust you won't kill me this way now. And by the way, if they wish to kill me, they can do so anyway. So yes, I'll have a drink. Better I deliver a pot with a clean head. Also, have I had any medical attention by now? No. Uh, well, actually, no, you would have had, because you were quite badly hurt. Um, so anyone who had light wounds, you wouldn't have received any medical attention. Um, Alexa, I'm looking at your little, your, uh, your health bar there. Yeah, you would have had a heal. Um, so, we will go back, hmm after you gave in your data slate so three hours we'll go back um let me have a look at something so the door of your cell room alexa there is a knock and the door opens and you are faced with a fairly tall, yet slim-built, red-robed Mechanicus. That is, that is still consuming what is left of her biscuits. Yes. And the little servo school. Flying near her. Just... I assume you were the one who required medical attention, yes? I quite, oh, not quite as desperately as you needing to cut food short, but yes. Mm, was just a snack anyway. 
Right, so, what is it, what is it this time? Burns, lacerations, gunshot wounds. Chain axe. Lacerations, it is then. So, I'm gonna roll Medicaid. Uh, are you lightly wounded, or? Um, I'm on you, one wound. You have a, you have Actually, a never mind, I ha I'm, I'm a superior chirurgeon. You so, have a medical kit, which has been given to you by the Inquisition. The service call, yes. So, uh, oh yes, your service Wait. call is a uh, Yeah, my service call is a med kit. I forgot about that for a brief second then, sure. Uh, let me just find the med kit on the list. Uh, is it just regular med kit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's regular, so just plus 10. And I don't take penalty for heavily wounded because superior chirurgeon. I'm a supposed superior chirurgeon. Wait a did second. You... Did I put in the... G give me a second. Sorry. Did you put in the plus 20 for superior chirurgeon? I did not. That is still a very shit roll. So that is a success because you have a plus 20 <laughs> for your superior chirurgeon. Yeah, but this is not the success I was hoping for. That's definitely not the success I was hoping for. So you heal two wounds, Alexa. Um, in no, you've succeeded the roll. You can't fate a successful roll. Yeah, that is true. I cannot. Wait, you can't? No. Fate's only used for failed rolls. Not for. Because I know you could... actually give me a second because I believe I can make that roll better anyway. Because I know at the very least you can use fate to buy one extra thingy. What extra degree of success? Yeah. Give me a second because I believe there was. Uh... No, not. Uh, and it's not. Say... It's not when you fail that you have to reroll. It's just reroll. It's a. It's a crazy thing to do it, but you can theoretically re-roll a successful test. Uh, no, never mind. I cannot substitute my intelligence bonus because I did not fail. So, yeah, subpar medical attention. You're welcome. I would probably rule it that uh, fate is to be used on failed rolls. Um only because it's a valuable resource and having rules to stop you from wasting it um, is, yeah but that's our a good... choice eh, um, so I'm probably going to GM rule it for the moment that um, it will only be used on failed roles but we can talk about it afterwards or at a later date before the next episode um, so Alexa your wounds have been treated you have bandages on all of your cuts. Uh, I believe your wounds would actually be sutured, not stapled. So, nope, um, sutured. Yeah, no macadendrites. So you Just have the work you have watched a, hands. A, a very skilled surgeon uh, stitch up your wounds. And if there was no more RP to be had, we can right. for... And GM, I just remembered what the reason for wanting to re-roll a successful thing test was. It's when you parry and dodge, that's when you'd want to re-roll successfuls. Mm. I would... I would probably allow that because that's a life or death situation. Um, so I would probably allow that because it's a case of your character living or dying um, on a roll like this like even in combat I'd probably be swayed to allow it but where this isn't a life threatening situation your wounds have been treated you're feeling a lot better aching and you know you've got cuts they're, they're going to take a while to heal um, unless you decide to like attack your, your interrogator in this session, you should be fine. <laughs> well, what if the interrogator decides to... No, oh, you duck guys did a good job last time. I should say, we all did a good job. You got a, you got a prisoner. 
in in dark heresy that's that's quite impressive we also managed to get what's possibly another asset on the planet and with minimal casualties so you were all given a uh oh sorry was there any rp you two wanted to do in that time I mean the... light thanks hmm. don't mention it it is what i was trained for in the end though no, that was definitely not my finest work i will admit that i think that might be a bit of an understatement Yes. Yes, that is correct. Oh well, you're not going to bleed out and in the end that what's ma that's what matters. No infections either. Come on, Hector. Let's go. The next patient awaits as they always do. And I will take myself and my servo skull out of the room. And three hours pass and we are back to where we were. Um, you were all given a drink of um, whichever you would like. If you prefer an alcohol-free drink, like perhaps a cup of recaf or just some normal water. Um, Walter, uh, Walter will bring it to you. Now, um, I believe uh, the interrogator wished for you, if you would like to have a discussion by yourselves, then you may. Um, if not, he will be here uh, in about... He, he looks at a very fancy uh, chrono. He takes it out of uh, the inside of his jacket jacket pocket he should be here um, in about 40 minutes or so uh, thank you Walter and I wish to I wish to thank you for the identity once again it served me very well to the point where it might be worth keeping it up for future investigations um by all means, thank you, uh, thank you for the praise, Miss um, Miss Alexa. Um, however, if you need a a new one, um, you need but ask. As long as I'm, as long as you are on the ship, that is, um, I can forge as many as are needed. Sometimes it's best to keep switching um, aliases, but it is up to you, as always. I am but a mere servant. And he kind of gives you a little bow. Say, so, thank you for the advice. Just thought that having an established name gives us a medium through which to communicate with people. He nods in uh, in acknowledgement, and uh, he turns and gets someone else a drink. Um, was there anything you guys wanted to discuss? Um, between the three of you before the interrogator gets here. I have to ask, do either of you know how to go through a document? <laughs> Me? Yes. Right. No, not really. Okay. It's good information if you find on someone you were uh, disabled. It'd be more useful if we could all read documents. That way, working together can avoid slight problems. Okay, what is this you want me to read? It's to avoid situations like the one on the planet. That was not because of reading, that was because of... Um, is that actually sitting at the table? Yes, he is. Uh, and then I just... That was because of that idiot over there keeps saying we are Inquisition. I was referring to the time it took us to get information, but true, that was also a large part of the problem. 
I thought we were just triple checking everything. That and printing document is different than working with gotcha data. Especially if it is tech priest cogitator because they have no user interface. So, anything else? What are we going to do about the other one? You mean that one? I Loyal assume... dead one. I assume either we carry on without him or interrogator assigns his new person. It's probably just wiser to keep him away from any people I have to talk to. He is, after all, the only one that can find stuff quickly when it comes to computers, wouldn't you agree? He is, after all, a bureaucrat. Alex just got his moment of Jenny? looking at you, then looking at him, Jenny. and then wondering, why has he gotten good at researching? You know, I think that bureaucrat's life might have driven him insane. Then again, street life has driven me insane, so... Yeah. Somehow I doubt it was the bureaucracy. As far as I have talked to people about imperial bureaucratic system, it sounds more maddening than streets I used to live on. Especially because you're not actually allowed to take out your frustration on anyone. Although technically he could, but not directly, which still means his frustration is still there. You cause damage, but no frustration to relief. You're stupid. No. Is there anything else we must talk about? I think that's everything. All right. And the ghost just leaves back and just, yeah. 32 minutes passed. After your discussion, 40 minutes are now up and the door uh, to the head of the table opens up and in walks the interrogator in black carapace armor he now has what appears to be a shock maul at his side it's quite excellently crafted and he walks in still with his helmet on masking the majority of his face only his well chiseled and strong jaw is showing and it does appear as if his teeth are clenched are you going to use multi beat sense into a bureaucrat over there as he walks in you notice that a quite petite um, a slim built uh, Mechanicus member in red robes with gold trim. I believe that's how your robes look, is it not? Yes, that is. Also, I don't believe like 170 is petite. Good point. I just kind of read your, your numbers wrong uh, when I was looking. I, I said petite and I was like, hang on a minute. What were the numbers? It was seven, 170, 70. Hang on, that's not. Um, a tech priest walks in and uh, walks in behind him. Please take a seat. Um, you were able to read the report that I gave you.
is this replaced from, from for that arbeite? Please introduce yourself as you will be, as Ghost said, the new member to this uh, team. My name is Tech Priest Jenny Lanius. I am a skilled and trained chirurgeon, and I will be your new party member. My condolences for the previous one. Eh, only knew him two days. I don't really like arthritis. So, what question for you? If I find cybernetics for myself, can you install them? Perhaps. Excellent. Dep depends if I like you. Uh, as soon as the interrogator walked into the room, I met a wood stand up, standing at attention. Ghost would uh, just keep sitting in his chair with his arms crossed. If the interrogator, you know, basically let's say then now it's fine, she would, you know, go back to sitting. Please sit. Uh, he is still stood up. And he has, uh, he's behind his chair and he has his hands on the top of the chair. But he informs you all to sit down. Uh, Jenny, I, did you read the report I gave you? It should fi it should have filled you in on this group's last mission. I have interrogator. Good. Then you will be able to uh, add your input. Dionyges. If you ever reveal who you are again, I will have you executed. Is that understood? I don't think Duke is back. Yeah, I, I think I, I he's just, still. I just realised that. I'd hoped I'd bought enough time. Diona G's kind of nods, um, looking a little bit sheepish. As for the rest of you, congratulations on capturing an individual who we can interrogate later on. However, Miss Alexa. Next time you are on a secretive mission, please do all you can not to inform your minder about everything that you do. Although I, have... I am happy with your outcome, this will be something that you will need to learn. I will admit to that, however, I during the time which I was doing this I had very little aid in the intelligence aspect of it all I sought to use nearby assets that could aid me in my weaknesses that is fair enough and I do at the very least praise you for pointing out your failures in your report work on them and you will do well within this organisation we may have made a miscalculation when putting together your warband. Thus, we sought it prudent for you to have a fully trained Mechanicus Chirurgeon with the team. Seeing as if you had one before, perhaps Arbites Erebus would not have fallen. Uh, just one small thing out of character. Does Jenny look like she's heavily augmented? No. No, in fact, she is conspicuously unaugmented for a tech priest. There's no mechadendrites, no bionic limbs. Amanda will mention that. Uh, forgive me, but in this case, I don't believe that Tech Priest is going to be much use to us down there. After all, they praise and give rank according to how much augments they have, and she doesn't look like she has any. They'll probably just think she's new blood or whatever they say. Please tell me, Amanda, what, um, what did you hear from the Tech Priests when they weren't speaking in low Gothic? 
Could you understand the tech priest tongue? Would you have known if any of them had deceived you to your face? Forgive me, my lord. I didn't. I meant no disrespect. I apologize. I'll just. I will just give a small bow and stay quiet. Such practices are not universal among the priesthood of Mars. Although, usually the augmentation comes with rank, it is not always the case. Ultimately, it is Hello, each individual choice to embrace the machine. Okay, so that we can quickly bring Duke up to date. Diogenes has been threatened with death if he continues giving out who we are when he shouldn't. I've been told off for telling our mind at everything and then explained that I that Alexa did it because she knows she's weak in the mind. She needed a good mind. There was one available. It's it can also be taken as an ex as like a backhanded copy insult to the rest of the party that she didn't have their help. Rip. And as Miss Alexa stated before, having someone else in the party who is able to handle documentations and investigations will aid you greatly, it seems. As for what you found, well done, agents. I still, I have still not accepted you to full acolytes yet. However, you are well on your way. However, and he does look at you, Dionyges. You have compromised yourself by bringing one of the Mechanicuses. one of their best people along with you. Fortunately, the Inquisition has many ways to influence someone's mind even if they are of the Mechanicus. You can all add one influence to your, well, influence. However, you have burnt two each in order to have bonuses mind altered by an inquisitor, an inquisitor, an inquisitor, so an inquisition we gain cycle. You gain net one. loss in influence. No, you gain one influence. Does that include myself? Have, yeah, that's for everyone. Okay. You would have gained three, but you had to burn some. In well, you were forced to burn some to keep some of your anonymity. Is that in? You broke up massively, however, um, I did understand it. Am I breaking up? Okay, we may be having some technical difficulties, so one moment, please. Um, so I think I did um, get what you were saying, um, Alexa, about um, your report um, that you mentioned to take, use bonus as an inquisitorial asset. Like, not as an actual, like, this guy is a member of the Inquisition, more like an informant on the planet. 
the it... eyes where we don't have eyes. So, uh, your interrogator looks up at you. I know you wish to bring him into the fold, as it were, Alexa. However, this would cause far more problems with the Mechanicus than I think you were aware, uh, that you were aware of. We do not wish to have anything to do with Bonus. As far as we are concerned, he is the Mechanicus's golden child for now. And that will remain. I understand. I just wish to have eyes where we did not have eyes before. And unfortunately, that is where you lack information. Information that you will still not be told, but the Inquisition has eyes everywhere. Just at times, they have too much to see to catch everything in their gaze. You all feel the ship start to shake and judder. We will be exiting, we will be entering warp space soon. You will have your chance to question your prisoner. However, remember, we will also want to question him. So you are not to kill him in any circumstances. Now, Miss Alexa, your report mentions a powder. Yes, here is, I have the sample right here. He walks over to you and takes the sample out of your hand. And he takes another vial out of his pocket and he shakes the substance, opens the vial and pours some of it in, closes the two up and hands you back yours. At one point, you will need to investigate this for yourself. Keep it on, well, keep it on the ship for now. I will have this tested, and he holds up the test tube. But it is always best for your group to be able to find the information for yourselves. But of course, if you do not find it, I will inform you. Was there anything else that you found or that was questionable? Can I visit the library? He turns round and looks at you and gives you a disdained look as you say that. I haven't had a chance yet. You can ask one of the servitors if you'd like wish to have new reading material but if it is not mission pacific then no you will not have access to the ships mm. chronicalarium or the data core So, for now then, if there's nothing that you wish to inform me about, you have an interrogation to do. He stands up and Walter will uh, lead you to the interrogation chamber. The tech priest is already there. We've already bound him. Get what information you can from him and begin filling out your personal reports. Walter, you are to give them all 
a data slate if they do not have one and you were to give them all microbeads from now on they should be able to contact each other if they need them or if they should want to contact one of us personally they should not have to rely on the ship's communique uh, yes my lord I shall um, go and requisition them once I have uh, shown them to the torture chamber Inqui in it wouldn't be called a torture chamber sorry um, interrogation, interrogation room. room that's the one same thing, different different meaning. Um, so to be honest, it, it's it's Imperium. They're probably not pussyfooting around with names. Yeah, quite true. <laughs> Acolytes, in two days we will meet again. And you will be informed of your next mission. You have done well, but I do expect better. Learn from your mistakes. Do not make those mistakes again. And you will be forgiven. He turns on his heel. Do not disappoint me. Or your Inquisitor. And he walks out of the room. Give me a perception test. Or you can give me a fellowship scrutiny. Everyone? I shall attempt. Yep, everyone. Ah, oh, goddammit. Perception okay, see. test. I'm legal level. Oh, good lord. Wait, did you say perception or I awareness? I see um, something. Where, sorry, it, I, I said perception because of because uh, of. Um, Oh, have a fancy. Um, so awareness or fellowship. Okay, scrutiny. that is the minus twenty. I fail. Play it. Yep. Nope. Fair enough. You don't notice anything as the um, interrogator mentions your inquisitor, and he walks out of the door. Uh, right, well, everyone, um, the interrogator has much to do at this moment. Um, you have all been given um, two items that you may requisition. However, remember not to keep your, your status in mind. You are not on the higher ranks of the Inquisition yet. I assume those items exclude the data slate and the microbead. But of course, uh, see them as gifts from your interrogator. Very well. Now, if uh, everyone is ready, you may bring your drinks if uh, if you wish. But. I know the interrogator would like to have his personal um, people to question the uh, the tech priest. Let us get to work so he can do it first. He uh, Walter steps to one side and the, the doors open, and he kind of gives a bow and gesture. Um, there's a. Like, an, a it's almost a wicked but kind of a creepy smile as as he kind of gestures to go to the uh, interrogation room. It's a shame we can't go all out. He'd break. Oh, I was trying to enjoy your work, but... Not as experienced in this, so I'll just watch. Does any of you actually have any experience in this matter? Would a, t would a chamber for this have tools? <sighs> there are some basic tools there, yes. It is normally up to the interrogator to uh, 
provides the tools of the trade that he enjoys or finds the most useful to get the information Perhaps. out. Perhaps I shouldn't do this if Dedicator wants people to get to life. I usually kill them. Uh, he only wishes the tech priest left alive. Um, and Walter's leading you to the place as he's talking. Yes. Um, I the, you do not have go. any psychers among you. Um, the interrogator has many strong psychers that he can utilize for such work. I can make sure he stays alive. Ooh. And I can make sure he talks. Ooh. Well, I can make sure he has his senses to talk. In which case, it sounds like we have all of our bases covered. <laughs> I like this plan. I assume Hector, my Cerverusco, is still with me. Um, so Hector um, does need to charge off of you. Um, he does get his energy from you. Now you can either have him on a lead. So every now and then he will just connect to this lead and he can hover and charge. Or you can actually have him land on your shoulder or connect himself to you somewhere to charge. Um, just to keep that in mind, there will be times when he's either on a lead or on your shoulder. But of course, I imagine I have like a cable which like I just plug him into and charge him. So also by the way, I have kind of question, our fake refill was daily or what what, what did we uh, do you you get one per episode and there will be times when you'll get a full fake refresh. But at the moment it's just one per episode. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, so basically if I think you're gonna be going up here against a really hard fight I'll give you a fake refresh but eh clearly not happening this episode uh, Walter leads you down um, a mass of corridors and takes you on several different turbo lifts that seem to constantly lead you down further into the belly of the ship um, as you come to another turbo lift you climb on and again further down. As these turbo lift doors open, however, there are two guards stood and they automatically turn their weapons inwards at the elevator and seeing Walter there, they return to their guard positions, their weapons at the ready still. You walk down and in this chamber you can hear moaning sobbing, crying. It appears the tech priest is not the only occupant here, but Walter leads you down to cell 17B. Um, not the 17B! Um, here you are. Um, I will, um, well, I have been informed to remain here um, in case anything were to go awry, um, but I am not to aid you in the interrogation. This is your mission, after all. And he swipes his palm to a scanner, and the door opens. By all means, you can shut the door. Um, just knock three times if you want. Uh, if you want when you want to be let out. You can leave it open if you wish. I believe keeping it closed is a good habit we should have. After all, we may not always be in a secure interrogation room. Ah yes, yes, you are um, you are quite right there. But thank you again, Walter. By all means, it is my uh, it is my job. And then Alexa will walk in there to go start the interrogation. As the door opens and Alexa steps through the threshold, a light 
high above the tech priest, comes on. It's almost a blinding light. However, your eyes have been adjusted to the light outside, so it doesn't really bother you so much. It's just got brighter in here. Yet you hear moaning from the tech priest, and it appears he is not unconscious. As his eyes squint and... Uh, uh. Are you willing to discuss the mistakes you've been making on the planet? Why have you taken me? I... I must perform my work. Would that work include drug in large sections of the population? Ruining productivity for everyone else, and not just possibly for yourself. You see, we've got, we know all about you at the moment, about how you seem to be looking after a rising star. In fact, we think that we have enough evidence to prove that you were trying to ruin him. Get a bit of revenge on the system that you know. They would never have attacked Bonus. Bonus would have be fine. His... Do you think they did not notice his name on the records? With him as a rising star, he... He will not be blamed for anything. Ah. But he very nearly was when his name came up as the one doing maintenance when the drug was found in the water supply. You being the not so, the not so rising star, the one who stalled, would be the ideal scapegoat for that would have been allowed, would have been allowed to have taught him wrong, led him astray. And then all it takes is one person who is a bit jealous of him from above. And bo poor Bonus is blamed and, and then killed for your crime. There was no crime. Then tell me, brother, why have you introduced this chemical agent into the Forge population? His eyes and adjust, as I and said that, I will step out of the shadows. There's no shadows in here. It's blind, oh. blindingly bright. For you like, guys, I assumed there was just a big light that was uh, flashing on the tech priest no, and the entire it's like, like the whole dark ceiling. room with the one in... Oh, okay. It's like the whole ceiling. Um, then ignore up. the coming out of the shadows uh, part. His eyes are still not quite adjusted, so he can't see you. Or he's still squinting and has his eyes and seems to be in discomfort. Yeah, also, even though the room is entirely bright, somehow it still looks as if ghost is in the shadow. I mean, we ha we already have samples of the agent that was introduced. You can fess up and confess what it was and what you were doing with it, or we can make sure that you're suitably punished when we find out what it truly is. The Omnisire's will is not for you to know. His eyes adjust and he can now see who's in the room and his head kind of... He has got a head restraint on, but he can move his head enough to be able to glance around the front of the room. He is not very cooperative. Can I check how many holes I can make in him before he bleeds out? Can I just come up with a random st statistic that may or may not be true? <laughs> and then I'll, after I say that, I'll say it. That's just on average, though. I think you've had your numbers a bit high. Far fewer people yeah. will get away with interrogate surviving my interrogations. Well, that depends entirely on the extent of his augmentations. Ooh, and then right. you might he hear me mumble something. He does I'm get sorry. he only has the arm. The arm which will also yes. get him in trouble. After all, no one signed off on it. Highly suspicious, don't you think? Yes. Also, 
arm is metal, is better than my current arm. I would actually like that arm. Would anyone mind me if I saw it off his, if, off his body? I would. I Heretic or take. not, the, mach- the mechanical arm is still the property of Mars. No, I'm curious. Can you take it off then? I, I just give Ghost a sidelong glance. I could. I'm curious, so what would you get out of adding things to the what's why, except for maybe people wouldn't notice if your numbers were down, because your numbers would be up compared to everyone else's. After all, you would know to avoid the water supply. The Omnisire's logic is not for you. But it is for me, brother. Silence yourself. I think he's being a bit more co- cooperative than I thought he should. It might be time to make him talk. I just instantly draw my sword. Where do I poke him first? Is it supposed to be painful or can I just see how much blood I can drain from him? You... Brother, if you insist methods. on your defiance, I will not be able to stop them, nor will I try. I am here to make sure you live. Just that. Hang on, sorry, he's a really old guy, isn't he? Yeah. Um, The flesh is weak, but my faith is strong. The Omnisire's logic is clearly not meant for you, brother. If you could not see his great plan, then it is not for you. I interrupt him in the middle of his talking and just stab him into one of his shoulders. The one that is not cyberized. Sure. With um, sword. Roll damage. I'll say the, the maximum amount um, of pulls he has you can been put healed, someone right? For no. someone with like a guaranteed chance of them not dying. Yeah, can, can I first roll Medicaid Perception to see to assess his current wounds? Sure. I assume Hector is not helping with this one, since he is just a flying med kit. Um, he has scanners. He counts as a. Mm, I think the med. No, the advanced med kit has has a has a scanner in it. I think it actually says in the service hall um, that they have scanners. I'll um, quickly find the yeah, text. He, for... No, he wouldn't be able to assist with a Medicaid perception. Um, however, he would be able to help if you were scanning for internal damage. Um, where you're just looking at him at the moment, you're not doing a Medicaid test. Well, uh, I, I am doing yeah, a Medicaid are, test. Yeah, you are doing a... So... Sure, yeah, you can have a plus 10 to that. He so will... that's 15 on 66. So you're like holding him and like shining, him, moving him around, or he's flying around and scanning up and down. Mm-hmm. Um, you would see that he's no longer in critical. Um, he well he has 2 HP I'll just tell you that much they have not they haven't healed him up to where he is he is fit and healthy because with wounds that are underneath obviously underneath his his um, robes um, eh I mean his so I believe he had a mechadendrite Uh, that has been removed um, he does. The only augment you can see is his is his um, is his throat piece, which all tech priests have. So basically, the uh, basic tech priest implants that you get at creation mm. kit. He has all of them plus his arm. That's all he's been left with. Mm. Can I try and uh, like look at the arm? If there's anything unusual about the arm. Like, what test would that be? That would probably be a tech use, but can you do it? You can't do it with perception. No, That's... I can do it with intelligence or agility. No, but he could actually roll, give himself the I mean, I could just roll skill. perception and say it's tech use. Sure, do say? that. Yeah. Add your bonuses for um, your tech use, if you have like, any. Ultimately, it is a GM vault, so... Oh, 33 on 56. Okay, so as you go over the arm, 
um, you may not have seen one of this quality you may not have ever worked on um, arms in this manner but you begin looking over it and you begin tinkering opening up a, a, a panel here and a panel there um, he does struggle a bit as you do this but um, ghost happily like holds him um, and you find a serial number now you can as a mechanicus you run through your your internal you know that the last three digits are the planet's home now you might not know all of them but you know this one this cybernetic was from Mars indeed hmm curious can I tell roll that piece as well Tell me, brother, you received such an honor. Why fake the documents if it was well deserved? You the probably piece couldn't. From Mars itself. Uh, Dionysus, you probably couldn't because you're not Mechanicus, so you don't know what to look for. Because um, that was for perception, okay. looking at the arm. Um, he looks at you. It was a gift by the Omni Sire. That is all you need to know. And he kind of looks forwards again. The fire oh, that's interesting. One would have thought the Omni Sire would have written it in the documents that it was from him. Especially when I'm almost positive that all of your implants should be gifts from your Omni Sire. After all, I know that mine is a gift from the Emperor. Tell me. Does your paperwork say that you are from the Inquisition? Is he asking her or me? Uh, he's asking not the room. But he does paperwork? look towards you two. Uh, I if would we probably know this because if there wasn't any paperwork, paperwork, I would go through it. Uh, we have paperwork. It claims we're from the administrator, by the way. Exactly. Can I just... Uh, I love that character. Can oh, I roll Mechanicus lore? To know if such practices with documents are commonplace or not. Sure, you can roll that for Mechanicus Law. I also turn to Jedi. Is he strong enough to take his stab in? I want to fade that. Sure. I have more than enough fate. Fate Lords. I've been having my sword just right up against <laughs> his shoulder the entire time. Can I please press my no. sword against his shoulder? I... I just slightly... He is in too weak of a condition for such crude methods. So I will... Oh. Torturing him will won't cause him damage. Um, it just causes him physical distress or mental distress. Oh, we're not... Thank God, we're not going with the actual interrogation rules. No, I don't... I don't apply that measure. I mean, you guys will need to describe what you're doing. But I don't see how, you know, causing mental trauma causes um, it's a physical mix of damage. It's, yeah. But it's not brutal torture. It's like, uh, here's, you, um... you know that whole thing where you like fake drowning on someone? Yeah. When you roll badly, you screw up with that and actually drown them a bit. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And that's um, what the damage is. Mm -hmm. um, a small question. He has one augmented like, arm. Is it? Like help down with something. Yes, he is. I he is do. strapped to an interrogation chair. Um, he has binds. Uh, there are a lot more binds. I mean, no one really rolled perception to be like, let me have a look around the room and see how uh, he Can is. I scrutinize the room. Mm, you. Uh, sorry, to roll to roll awareness. Um, yeah. Is there anywhere in this room a very, 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 very sharp knife? There is a behind the interrogation chair. There's about five foot in a square around him. And there are um, tables at the edge of the room. And you can see different objects. There are scalpels. There are precision tools of a uh, medical nature. Um, you would also see several fluids um, that appear to be in bags and several um, pots pans you could almost almost looks like one section is a is a cooking area or a or a kitchen I, there are many utensils I have, there i have a good idea i see scalpels 
I know that if you put scalpel underneath someone's fingernail, it hurts. Can I try? We can get to the more brutal and mannish methods later. We can first deal with the more subtle methods of talking, of, of convincing him. After all, he may think himself, he may be, he'll be a smart man and fess up to his situation later. After all, he knows just what situation he's in. I'm afraid that is not the case. So he doesn't know that we wouldn't be allowed to do this if we were on his planet. Oh. It's much easier for him if he confesses now, before we have to break out the tools. After yeah. all, our superiors won't be as gentle. It is true, but he believes himself righteous. Many of my order are people like this. Mired in superstition believing themselves to be one and only who the Omnissiah chooses to speak to. Such a shameful display. So, why have you been working in such a mediocre job, doing it in such a poor fashion, and yet the Omnissiah has g decided to gift you with such augments, as you so claim? The logic of the Omnissiah is not yours to know. True. I'm, I'm purposefully parodying his voice before he even opens his mouth. True. But I wasn't asking for the Omnissiah's logic. I was asking for your personal logic. After all, you'd be, you'd been, if you're so good at serving him, why are you not in a pos higher position making sure that others are better at serving him? I have theory. He is actually not very good at serving on this side. Actually, I th even think he might have stolen this particular augment. That would be a rather brazen theft to claim a piece from Mars would carry consequences. Severe consequences. Oh. Those consequences entail that I could stab him to death. No. We could not. Remember, he must yeah. be alive for our superiors to be less gentle with him. True, but after they are done. Then they'll dispose of him as they see fit. If they yeah. are given to you, you can toy with him as much as you wish. Hmm, I like some of that, but it's unlikely. Anyways, I go grab scalpel, uh, someone make sure his fingers are ready. And I just walk behind him and go grab like five scalpels. So, uh, as a chirurgeon, would I know that... I I'm pretty sure this won't kill him, right? No, but I will be sticking very, very, very sharp scalpels in some of the most uh, sensitive parts of the body. <laughs> Do not stop. Let's not stop with that. Let's get on to this. And I'm going to go find one of the many, many interrogation serums, because I actually know what I'm doing with interrogation tools. Hmm. I'm on to the point where I'm just going to flat out interrogate. He doesn't want to talk. Perhaps I should ask the interrogator for permission to reclaim the arm. Intimidate. Fuck's sake, where the f- Ah, interrogation, here we go. So, um, you would know that um, causing minor damage to the flesh would not um, affect his HP. It's deep cuts that would cause bleeding, um, so you could, um, with an interrogation roll, um, do that without hurting him. I mean, obviously, if you get a natural hundred, then yeah, it will cause damage depending on um, 
depending on or does it say here i am just going through the interrogation thing so yeah natural hundreds obviously result in a bad thing so a character in before it turns out ghost has interrogation too we need to the availability tools functioning uh functioning do, do, do. I can tell no. you um, there aren't any serums in here. There's no, like, truth serums or... Um, There's no, like, drugs to put someone a bit more out of it, more pliable. There is a, a medical kit there. There are... Um, you could give him drugs to make him sleepy, to make him, um, like, intoxicated. Um, but there don't appear to be any truth serums. Um but as you um, look at the table and you look around, you note that several of the um, of the fluid uh, containers, they're like um, almost like Capra Sun, except from you can see through them. Um, they all have writing in low Gothic on them, and some of them say oil, some of them say um, uh... damn it, what's that? What's the thing that goes on an IV? It's just left my left my mind all of a sudden. Uh, I get what you mean with an IV. Yeah, so, so some of them are some of them are for medicals, some of them are oils, um, lubricants. There are a whole host of different liquids there. Um, there's also, as I said before, as you go along, there are pots and pans, and there are um, sieves and filters and uh, heating pads and um, clamps and pliers and scalpels medical equipment um there are devices there that are those things that like keep your eyes open so like little hinged devices so that he wouldn't be able to close his eyes um i gotta admit i find it amusing that we've got like the 1980s interrogation tools yet we don't have sodium pentothal the numbers mason what do they mean but yeah i'm gonna start interrogating um, you if... would, from the room, um, you would get a plus 10. Um, if you give me a good description of what you're going to do to him, um, you may get another plus 10. I'm just going to um... be on alert to make sure I can intervene at a moment's notice if I see that he is if... in, the... in the threat of dying. If Ghost is helping, even if he can't roll to help with the interrogation, there'll probably be a bit of good cop, bad cop, or the closest equivalent of, I'm trying to make sure you don't get brutally murdered. Please, give me ways to keep you from being brutally murdered. Meanwhile, Ghost attempts to make it sound like he could brutally murder him. I think we're way past please at this point. Yeah, uh, but it's the psychology of I'm keeping him off his toes, and then there will be the slightly brutal torture of Ghost's ideas letting ghost tr attempt to stab him but not actually stab him and possibly have some physical convincing from amanda and then on top of that there will be the general patch him up we need to this is going to continue and just the outlasting game as well does anyone else have interrogate Nope. Okay. Nope. Um, so yeah, it will essentially be your character doing the physical stuff because your character has an understanding of how to cause pain without, um, without causing damage. Um, I'm teach. I'm treating interrogate a lot like torture. It may seem pretty much the same thing. Um, I can tell you now, as you do your soft approach, he does not give a shit. He doesn't. That that will not give you um, a plus ten. Um, but you do get a plus 10 for the room itself. So if you'd like to roll your um, interrogate for your first section. I will make him crack with mind games. I forgot to add the plus 10. So he fails massively, um, 
and you get, I believe, it add one is degree, so four, add plus ten. four degrees of success. Um, so, whilst he doesn't seem to care about uh, about the interrogation, um, you can see that the amount of time you're doing it for, um, this these are two hours per roll. Um, sorry, I should have said that um, beforehand. Either his experience back down on the planet or his time on the ship, he's drained. And your two hours of good cop, bad cop, of questioning, of of pointless questions that he has, has just drained him a little bit. Um, but he does not crack. So, as you begin your second part of your interrogation. Then let's start it. You begin taking a scalpel and with Ghost's um, insistence and helping to like guide you and yeah, yeah, do it there, that's sensitive, that's that bit there, oh, hang on. There, there, that bit there, that very sensitive, very sensitive. Um, you begin slowly inserting um, scalpels under his fingernails and he cries out in pain yet the only words that come from his mouth seem to be the Omni Sire guides us as he appears to let's just see how yeah he, ap he appears to to hold on slightly but he does cry and you do see tears and sweat begin to form on the remainders of his unaugmented flesh and they oh, like Nick scalpel uh, you may roll another um, interrogate does he does he still look fine uh, like you get not a, about to die you can give me a medicate perception uh, with a plus 10 sure. for your servo skull. Um, your next interrogation gets a plus 10 to it. So plus 20 overall, right? Yes, that's right. What is with me in the 80s? Another fate. I'm going to fate that? I think maybe because the 80s have good music. 32 better. Okay. Well, nothing good for me. I didn't Actually, get it. I need to, sorry, I need to do a uh, willpower. Okay, he doesn't fail massively, um, but you fail at the same amount, I actually. So, he, um, so with your Medicaid perception, or with your Medicaid test, um, you can see that not enough damage has been done. Um, however, he does appear to be more and more drained. Um, again, another two hours have passed. So, it is getting quite late, but he seems to be far more placid and hang on let me check oh wait no fatigue has to go above your um bonus doesn't it so you, i think so yeah it's not equal to it's above um so he he still holds on but you can see he is becoming far more drained um as sweat is pouring off him as well you only have five digits to work with um What is your next course of action? Because it was only up to fingernails that you had really got to. Where is your Magnus? We don't have Magnus. I think I'm going to go for the longer, more drawn out spine games. You know, like how, like the water torture type ones where you feel like you're drowning, the the, the actual ones where you don't break them physically. You know, the, the physical torture now is but worn and down. Now I'm okay. going to break him mentally. Actually, with the brutal way. You know when they put people through boot camp torture and it's designed to break them? Yeah. I'm going to break him. So I'm not being nice anymore. As you look over at the different fluid pouches, um, you pick up one of the ones that is marked as an oil and you pick up one of the ones that's marked as a lubricant 
and you squeeze the packs and the oil seems very slippery it, it moves very quickly in your hand as you put pressure on the uh, on the sack whereas the um, lubricant seems to be far more viscous far thicker and as you move it you can almost see like bulges which one of the liquids would you like to use I think I'll start with the oil okay so as you uh, someone I'm guessing ghost we'll say ghost as ghost goes behind the tech priest he pulls out a cloth off a table he quickly wraps it around the tech priest's eyes and yanks him backwards the chair almost appears to be designed for this action as it falls back yet hinges stop it from falling all the way the tech priest is now leaning back at a I believe it's a 45 degree angle I think yeah um, as um, he f lies there let's say Amanda grabs hold of his chin and part of his augments around his neck and begins to pull down as Alexa squeezes and pours in the oil the oil slicks around his tongue and as he spurts and splutters it almost seems to just fall back into his mouth as it appears this is no ordinary oil it doesn't seem to go onto dry skin or when it's on dry surface it doesn't it doesn't seem to move but if it even touches the oiled surface around his mouth and now on his lips it just falls back into his mouth as <coughs> he begins to choke all interrogation how long do you want to choke him for not long enough to kill him it'll be on and off over the hours I don't want to kill him. I just want to, like, effectively, repeatedly break him mentally here. Okay. Um, roll me interrogation with, again, a plus uh, 20 overall. However, I will do it for not the same amount of time, or not, without, like, a pattern to the times. Actually, correction, um, it's a plus 30 to the roll. Yeah, this is the third one. Yeah, plus 30. Oh, fuck. Please tell me you have oh more well, for fuck's sake. I don't have fate because we only get one fate point per session. <sighs> what happened to the fate lord? I had to use it all last session and then didn't get a refill. <sighs> He's gonna die. Can I intervene before he ki before Alexa kills our prisoner? Let's just see. <laughs> um, so you see you uh, roll me a medicate medicate agility roll, medicate agility roll me a medicate perception to see how you've been doing as you've been um, checking over like as you've been watching him because you're not stood oh, there fate. 80 again um, you're not stood there just like da 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 you are doing a job you are watching over him and checking okay I'm going to burn all my fate in this one session. Jesus. So, well, spent, not burn, but... I will say, because you are... You did pass the test, um, that you notice as his eyes begin to roll back into his head, um, and you quickly yank him forwards, um, so he avoids taking the natural 10 that I rolled for damage. Oh, shit! So he does not take that. As he <laughs> However I think for that he's gonna be taking a little bit more fatigue. Well I don't know, you did well by can out, he'll take the uh the one. But he does not take damage. Are you willing to talk yet? We can keep going all day. Uh Okay, so, as 
as you look at him, um, his face has gone gaunt uh, and long, and he appears to struggle to breathe. Uh, I have done. I, I, I have done nothing. But the Omnisire did not. Uh, will. Ask your questions. Why? Why have you introduced the chemical agent into the forge's water supply? It was a was a test, a test to uh, improve the forge. Chem the the Omnisai's instructions were not carried out right. We tried to fix the blend, but it failed. The desired results were were not gained. Who is we? I do not know. They gave me instructions, delivered the drug, but I do not know. They gave me the operation, the arm, for my work. Why the reaction with his Inquisition attempting to murder us? They told me that there were issues that if the inquisition came i should fight or run were they also of the mechanicus i do not know i just got messages testing then my who faith. performed the operation a mechanicus on the Forge World. They said they had seen to it. I did not question their orders. They... He looks up at you. His, he seems utterly exhausted. And he still has oil and still coughs at times. And you see bits of phlegm and mucus and occasionally a black piece of glob flies out from his from his lungs I thought they were you I swear it me uh, he doesn't say that to you in particular again it's more to the room and to the people within the room okay who else could pull such strings You should have realized that it was not us the moment it started negatively impacting the forge. What was the drug? I do not know. They delivered. They got through customs, checks, Scatari. Why I believe they were working for the Omnisire. For the Mechanicus. You know, if anyone wants to, like, roll scrutiny, they can, by all means. I'm about to. I was just I w giving people a chance to ask questions, then I was going to scrutiny over the questions that were asked. I would like to roll logic to see how this may or may not be connected to my previous assignment. Um. Be because the way I see it, suddenly a large qu enough quantity of drugs suddenly appeared out of thin air delivered by a mysterious benefactor sounds familiar you wouldn't need to roll logic um for that you would be able to put some of it together um i will um so i didn't inform you of what the drugs were doing on your world did i on the uh the job that your group were sent off to look for um uh... 
My group was not sent to find drugs. Mine was investigating this is out of character. My group was dis investigating the disappearance of inquisitorial personnel, active and retired, and then it turned out that someone has armed the gangs on the planet to yeah. go after the, um, the agents. So, you probably couldn't... Like, you would know that there are two mysterious individuals, but you don't have enough data to be able to say that they're both linked at this moment in time. Uh, okay. it'd, be, it'd be massive speculation on your part. That's how I should have worded it. It is a massive speculation, but this is exactly what is going through Jenny's head right now. Yeah, by all means, you won't also, need Also, she is for that. transcribing the conversation into her data slide, the sure. confession. Sure. Um... So uh, the reason, so I, if you want, you can scrutiny each question rather than the whole conversation, because um, so if someone lies about one question but then tells the truth on another question, you have to be. I would have to be like, well, yeah, he told a lie at one point, but yeah, I'll roll scrutiny. How many questions we had so far? Three. Yeah, and I'll roll scrutiny for the other two. If only he would be plugged into a medical apparatus that monitors the activity of his brain. Because then I could tell. Because you, the certain parts of your brain activate when you're lying and not when you're telling the truth. For your um, last question, um, he was telling the truth. He doesn't know who... I believe that was your last question. Um, he doesn't know who... Um, Oh no, sorry, his, so his la the last one was, he honestly thought that it was people like the Inquisition. You know, he, he thought that the only people who had um, the sway to do something like this was someone of the Inquisition. Did anyone else have any questions? At the moment, he is broken, so there's no in interrogation here. If any of you do have a question or want to know something. And what of Bonus? What was his role in this? I needed... If I had done the maintenance on paper they would have someone would have taken it from me some other tech priest would have taken it but with bonuses name they all ignored it they al allowed him or me I gained access that way we have been working harder to to fix what the failure of the drug. And what about the fact that when it got led back to him, he would have been the one to get punished? I believe that you would have fixed it. Uh, the ones who sent the drug and gave me my arm. This has been going on for so long. The other tech priests never questioned it. They all thought that someone higher than them had given him permission. He is, after all, a star within the Mechanicus. Yeah, he has a smile on his face when he talks about bonus. Why has he been so overworked? Uh, to make amends for lowered productivity. And we all work harder. He took more responsibility than most. He was going to work himself into an early grave, no matter how much you make 
your people may go on about how the flesh is weak. You can only go. That's the exact reason why you should not overwork yourself. It was be when we arrived. She was barely surviving on recast. Weakness of duty, I suppose. Foolish. Apprentice. Does anyone else have any more questions? If not... I think we'll leave him to get to the next group to get answers. Ones that we know, they'll likely know the questions we don't. And Alexa will clean up what's been used, preparing for the next time this room's got to be used. Yeah, you really don't need to. Well, for one, you don't have a mop to clean up the oil. You don't have, like, there aren't cleaning no. implements in I'm here. I'm talking about moving the actual, like, the tools back. So okay, I don't think, sure. Um, this is the Imperium. I don't think they clean them. No, servitors would clean them, and mundane shit. There's always someone for that. Um, however, that, like, in, the, in here, you don't really see any water. You don't see like any drinkable water anyway. All the fluids seem to ha be a chemical of some sort, you know, an oil, a, f uh, a lubricant, a this, that, or the other, um, a coagulant, um, or a, or a. Ah, oh, so it was so it was on the tip of my tongue. The thing for the IV. Um, but yeah, sure. You Daily? you put the huh? Do you mean saline? That's the one. No. The saline solution. Um, so technically, yeah, sure, you could drink it, but it's salty and disgusting, so meh. Yeah. Um, Great for torture. You put the um, the scalpels back and put them on the side, and with that, your group turns and leaves. He just seems to keep panting and just be fairly exhausted. Um, I believe six hours have passed um, as you walk out. Walter is stood there. Uh, by all means, you can always be rougher when interrogating. Uh, he didn't scream for long, which is... Yeah. I, I broke him through other means. By all means, I nearly your, went methods too far. Are, your methods are more than acceptable. Not methods of my taste, however. He gives you a very creepy, wicked-looking smile and a little bow. I'll inform the interrogator. If, um, and can you please inform the interrogator that for the moment he's broken if he wishes to ask questions before snapping the man's mind open? But of course. Um, please, the servitor will lead you back. Um, I have business uh, here. And he gives you a bow, you look, um, you bow back, or say your goodbyes to him, and you turn round, and there are two servitors um, there to lead you back. Sure. Um, as the servitors lead you back to your designated rooms. Nope. Oops. Uh, yes, sorry, your designated rooms. You probably want to go to sleep by now. I imagine it's six hours plus all the waiting. Yeah. Um, you're led back to your rooms where you find there is a more than acceptable meal there and drinks. And the next morning, you are awoken by a guard 
who leads you along long corridors again into darkness and back into the meeting room where you continuously meet with the interrogator. However, this time he is already there, sat waiting. He has five data Yeah, he has five data slates on the table. Acolytes, uh, sit. I'd like to make this as quick as possible. You did well with your interrogation. Walter has informed me of what he has discovered. As far as the tech priest's memories go, somehow he is innocent in some regards. It appears he has been used and misled. And I know of some individuals who would use these methods. However, this is definitely not our work. If an inquisitorial agent had performed something like this, a 3% drop would have bought the operation. They would not carry on. So, for now, keep in mind of what has been going on. Because we have another situation that needs your attention. In two weeks time, you will land on the world. Oh, bollocks, it's one of the ones I can't read. <laughs> you'll be, you'll land on the world of Denier in the Segmentum Obscurus sector subsector the gothic sector in the majaru cluster this is in the same subsector as the planet goth we have reports there and he looks over at your tech priest we have reports there of a syndicate or some organization arming gangs providing them with drugs I believe this is closely linked with another operation that went on so I would like you to investigate it Do we have a cover for this one or is it make our own again? If you wish, you may make your own, however. Oh, I'll keep clicking on the set on the wrong. Uh, which document is it? Yep, I think it's that one. Cool. You can technically go in however you like. However, I would like you to do better than last time with keeping your cover. This world is classified as a... Uh, hang on, I've got it written down here. Uh, this is an agri-world. It supplies a large amount of food for the Imperium, or at least in this sector. You can, if you wish, go in as the Administratum or you can go in as something else. It is entirely up to you. The planetary governor of this world is far too kind to his population. The Agri world has far more rights for its citizens than most <coughs> Imperial worlds. However, there is one large hive the rest is farmland, um, forestry. Um, the world itself supplies a number of less needed goods. However, 
these goods are still used. He kind of his the way his mouth moves. It, he kind of doesn't really want to admit to it, but he does. The world produces a very fine wine, and there are many of us who indulge in this. Uh, I guess we now know his guilty pleasure. That was out of character before you lash out on me. Okay. That was out of character. Looking into gangs would be more suspicious. In character, I've already made a note of it. <laughs> okay. Looking into the gangs would be more suspicious if we went in as administrator. Exactly. Because they have a frequent Arbites presence on the planet. No. The world, the world itself has been known for being peaceful. The recent violence and civil unrest has been over the last 12 months or so, a year, would, yes, about a year. However, the reports at the beginning are very slight. A few attacks here, a few attacks here. It took our investigators a lot of digging to even see the connection but it has slowly escalated the gangs which at first were nothing more than street thugs have become more organized they have been trying to take control of certain industries now the planetary governor has fully admitted to everything he has not left anything out of his reports this does make our job far easier the PDF are able to keep control however there have been riots there have been damage to properties within the hive itself this has not led to the outside uh, the surrounding countryside uh, or the areas where food is is uh, created however if you wish to investigate these areas you can it would be entirely up to you. Our ship will not remain in orbit. You will be picked up by another ship. A rogue trader vessel. Known as... The Fall of Sin. going in wishing to prove ourselves to a rogue trader like Alex is just kind of thinking out loud here about what a cover could be she's not very smart she's just trying her best god damn it we lack the equipment to pull off a chance of pretending to be our bites but fools pretend wishing to interest a rogue trader is this planet a usual stopover point for rogue traders and the like? There are several rogue traders who have warrants of trade with the planet. They are able to buy the rarer materials, lumber being one of them. They have several rare varieties of tree on the planet. The wine of course so it would not be unusual to have rogue traders or members of rogue trader ships on planet I can't try forget is the, are the planetary defense forces Imperial Guard. No, They're local. No, so the, the like. PDF are basically the police officers of um, of 40k and... They're not well, really police no, officers, they're, they're, they're more like militias. They're the police officers and they're the militia of the world. So the Abites do not deal with petty crime. 
that's what the PDF deal with, the Planetary Defence Force. So any minor crimes go to them. So they are basically the police and militia of of 40k. But the the judges essentially are the arbites. You know, they're the they deal with the serious shit. And and gang lords as gang uh, large gang lords as well, I guess. I thought they were just the right. They were the gangs underneath our good friend, the governor. They weren't actually like anything that was big aside from you sent these guys to kill orcs and then occasionally move them into the imperial guard if they were good. No PDFs are actually like legit militaries. Yeah, they're not. They're not by any means. They're not. Um, every world. Um, supplies their own pdf so it depends on the world how much they want to spend on the pdf so some pdf forces are actually really well equipped whereas others have muskets <laughs> and line up like old world you know they're honestly, like red coats yeah. honestly don't talk smack about muskets because they are you know they're baller um they hurt. So, uh, you are to go to this world and investigate this. It appears to be a new type of drug. We only have small reports, and we don't know how this drug is getting on world. I have tested the drug that you found on Goth. These are not the same. A world where the civilian population have more rights, that their population has never had a problem with rioting or civil unrest. It can only be this unknown drug. I want samples of it. I want to find out where it came from. I want the gang that is dealing with it annihilated. And any prisoners that you can bring back of high rank to be interrogated is always a bonus. And if you can find out a ship that is bringing this substance, you will be rewarded greatly. There is, however, one more job. And as he says this, you, he's, his mouth twitches in one side. Your Inquisitor is a fan of this vintage of wine. I wish you to pick up a crate. Uh. This will aid in your cover. However you wish to do it, however, whichever organisation you wish to go in as, it is not unusual for the Administratum to have ships pick up a delivery and take it to a world for a high-ranking member. As is the same with the rogue traders. Oh, I believe what many. The, what of the Astra Militarum being... We have, a few of them are being transported to a new location, and along the way are under orders to pick up the fancy wine for their commissar. It is, again, possible. In this, the, in this sector of space, this wine is... It is well spread amongst the aristocrat and higher ranking individuals. If they're particularly foolish then they'd get then they'd likely go out itching for a fight. That could cause it to stumble into a gang. Nobody would look twice if fools from the guard were to go charging into dealing with a gang in order to look like they were doing something. That was certainly not an objective I expected. 
Let's just hope this interaction with gangs goes better than the previous one. Indeed. I do not want to have to look for more applicants. You have two weeks before we arrive there. Uh, he stands up. On each of these data slates is your mission briefing. Do not take these onto the world. Leave these in your quarters or give them to Walter. That reminds me, I must return the administratum robes to Walter. Are you wearing them now? No. So he looks at you not wearing them, and Walter would have had a servitor reclaim them by now, I should imagine. He is quite quick with these sorts of things, given his age. Now, if there is anything else that you wish to ask about this mission, as always, and the other door opens, and Walter is stood there. He enters and has, does a little bow. He doesn't say anything. Walter has been assigned to you uh, whilst you're on board. Make use of his aid, however you see fit. And I hope, and he stands up and turns around, and he begins to walk away as... I hope that when you return, I'll have new acolytes under my command. Do well as he steps through the door and the door closes. Uh, Walter um, turns to you and informs you that uh, the uh, ready room that you had before, or the uh, mission room, I should say, that you had before is available to you. Uh, the Cognates have given you access to information about the world, um, so you can use them if there was anything else you wanted to know about the actual planet. And of course there are drinks and other things there. Can I use one of my requisitions to try and get a chainsaw? By all means, um, once we're done with the episode, you guys can do your roles and look through the book. Um, I was kind, I probably should have mentioned, if you didn't, if you weren't involved in the RP, you can always look through the book and see it's stuff that you can try and requisition. Just try and remember to keep it to your um, influence, because um, it, w so I'm not going to, I'm not going to cause, uh, we'll talk about this after we've, after we've done the, this bit. Uh, so you were all led to the room where you did your mission um, your, the mission room that you were at before there are several um, drinks on the table um, it seems like half filled bottles um, and Walter leaves you there he tells you that he'll be outside if you need anything just message him he has a few things that he needs to do um, I just want to look at the data and assess the level of technology of the planet and its PDF force. Okay, um, you look through, you don't need to roll for this information because essentially you're just spending, you got two weeks to just look through the Cosmite and read up about the world. Um, it's, it's farm, you know, it's mechanized. They have, uh, the farming population do use, um, you know, farming equipment. It's not Stone Age. This is a, a food producing world. It's um, quite a large food producing world. Um, I believe there are a couple in the in the subsector. I can't remember the map. I think there are a couple in the subsect. No, in, sorry, in the sector. But in this subsector, it is the only one. Um, 
and its technology its technology therefore has been upgraded they do have tractors they do have well the 40k equivalent of tractors um it does n not appear as if this world is used for raising crocs um this world seems to be wholly put forward for plant production okay and what about the pdf the pdf is actually quite small um this world has never been attacked as far as it's never been invaded by a xenos race um and as far as i know it's like out of character it's never been attacked by chaos but gotcha. um because of that and because the surrounding planets um do have larger pdf forces and do have larger pdf naval forces um this world actually has a, a minimal naval force and a um a nominal pdf force but they are not the best equipped um you see yeah. You do see las guns, um, you do see auto guns, but not in uh, biblically huge numbers. I mean, for you, they probably are large numbers, but they're not biblically. You're not looking at billions of las guns and billions of auto guns. It's a few hundred thousand, a few hundred thousand of of well of each and other small arms. They don't appear to have many heavy arm. They don't have any. Um, tanks that you could see in their PDF uh, forces um, but they do have several um, oh what is it is it the Valkyries are they the civilian um, no I'm trying to think of the um, the airships that the Imperium uses for they have some low tech air forces um, okay. Okay. That's mostly what I'm gonna be looking through. And is there any mention of the PDF actually uh, dealing with bandits in any of these? So as you go through, um, it appears as if the the gangs themselves. They haven't been able to uncover anyone important. They only ever seem to run into, like, the thugs who don't know anything. Um, and a lot of civilians seem to always get caught up into it. So for every one gang member um, in the arrest reports, you see there's at least 30 civilians that are getting involved for unknown reasons. Hmm. Okay. Curious, but okay. Uh, you looked into the defences, didn't you? Yeah, that, that's mostly okay. what I'm looking for. Um, you would know then that around the um, world, uh, they do have defensive bunkers built, like old vaults for the population in the surrounding area to be able to basically bolt into if they were ever attacked because um, it's inefficient to bring the farmers in from you know they have small we would class them as like cities and towns and workshops any of these are any of these bunkers in disuse and abandoned all the ones in the um in the countryside are all uh used um the they're either used for storing certain goods or certain like it seems that the population doesn't just leave them idle um the ones around the hive um it seems as if they're used but the data seems to like it says that certain individuals have rented them out but it seems at this point that the um that the data that's being provided gets a bit contradictory and you may need to investigate that on the on the hive world on the agri world itself because some of the vaults appear to be disused and other vaults appear to be they're like the same vault is then 
written down to be rented out but then it's then it's disused again and it seems as if that information is slightly jumbled but then looking at the hive structure itself with how large it is um, although again this is probably on the small scale of hives um, who knows if if they are still in use or disused or destroyed um, you do see that several of them are regularly visited at least okay. um, Anybody can, she will copy over this information to her data slate so she can keep looking at it even and check on it on the plan. So you can't take, you can only take snippets of what you want. If uh, So if you were to ask Walter or if you asked anyone to, can, to transfer large chunks, you wouldn't uh, be able I'll... to in case you got caught. So that you could take little snippets. Um, yeah, I'll... I'm going to take the, the small snippets then about, about the bunkers. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to take massive. You could take probably lo some locations, um, so you can cross-reference bits. Um, but if anyone else were to read it, it would seem like uh, a bit jarbled, if you know what I mean. No, so notes sure. that you understand, but no one else does. I mean, I get that all the time. I'm going to look up gang hotspots. Okay, um, so they this part really struggles. Um, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem as if the PDF have had much experience with dealing with gangs. Um, all the areas of violence keep happening in the um, in the main hab, like in areas where pe people are living. And the PDF seem to just storm in there and don't get the right people or don't for ev as I said before they can't seem to get anyone of rank they always seem to get some some grunt who doesn't have the drug they don't they can see that people are on a drug just because of the violent frenzies that they seem to go into um, or the reasons like for um, some of the reports um, go into some detail about um, where the violence took place and several of the PDF forces who regularly patrol this area have you know years uh sorry a year well, let's say a year and a half ago it was just smiles it was just people happy it was for the imperium extremely odd you know this is a very odd world in how the, it's run and then all of a sudden these normal people were turning violent um and let me just check violent like why not like a soldier on frenzy? No, um, they would turn. Um, I'll say you look at the medical reports. Um, the medical reports for the civilians um, show that they would go quite docile. Like it seemed that the violent stage would also break them of the drug, and they couldn't find enough in the system. Which kind of shit like they show, they could find trace amounts of the drug, but it would break down very quickly. And it seemed as if any when they went in there and started catching the people who were um, very violent, a couple of people came in very docile. They got just brought in with the crowd, and this is where they discovered there was an active drug in their system that they couldn't identify. And the people would be very docile, very like out of it, kind of like they're almost as if they're hallucinating. And then something would happen, a noise, a, a motion, a light. It was very unpredictable. They would turn violent and then almost break out of the, break out of the, of the spell once they'd been subdued and actually like knocked out. So the materials, what is, what is there on the Mechanicus presence on the planet, if there is any substantial presence? There are um, several outposts 
um, dotted around the planet that deal with um, maintenance on the farming equipment. Um, they're mainly based in areas where they have um, small work, well, small on the imperial side, large in real life workshops where they can work on the equipment. Um, in the actual uh, hive city itself, they have quite a small, um, actually, yeah, they have quite a small presence um, because this world doesn't massively refine the goods. So, for example, this world is producing things like corn, maize, and other wheats and vegetables that can then get sent off to other worlds um, that need them. So they don't need to process it. They don't need an STC um, Mechanicus facility to refine uh, those goods. But they still do use um, technology. There is still um, STC um, devices that are used, um, obviously the power grid and everything like that. So there is a small contingency. It's basically the size to maintain a hive, kind of, and um, repair basic um, uh, perform basic repairs on certain um, com uh, mechanical components. Okay. So you have now all been talking very much on the drug itself. You do realize all that I have criminal background, yes? I do now. Could you repeat that, please? Okay, that makes sense. I'll say without looking up. Yes, same as me. Well, it is best to be honest since you guys are going to be keeping me alive as part of the deal. So, in any way, I am willing to trust you a bit. And I must say, why not simply allow me to infiltrate gang? Takes time. That or I can provide very sudden, very violent competition for gang. We don't need to replace them with another gang. Oh no 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 no. I am one man gang. I reckon I could fit in. And then, like, you're not sure if that's a joke or not. You would not. You would be killed on the first day. That's second. I think the first. They'd give you an initiation and you'd fall over. <laughs> um, yes, indeed. In the case. Uh, I don't think you can make a one-man war on, on the criminal element on this planet, Coast. It would take far too long for you to make any significant impact because first you would need to find out how do you operate and we don't know that yet. I did not say I would specifically only target the gang. I just said provide sudden and violent competition. In any case, I understand if that makes you uncomfortable, so... I can at least try to make my way stealthily through the presumed location of the gang. And maybe take a couple of them out while I'm there. Sure. And then they return to you guys with information. In case you have not noticed, I am very good at the sneaking. Hmm. From what I've been reading, it's probably better if you infiltrate the PDF and keep an eye on them. Every single time the gang members are caught, only the lowest element of the gang is ever caught, and it's usually with civilians, so if something's amiss, they might be, they may be tipped off by a higher element in the PDF. Or they could just be incompetent. Considering the fact that I was a one-man operation for several years on my planet and not even the highest elite Arbites force could catch me until I ran into Inquisition. Yes, generally PDF are idiots. Yeah, except that if you're part of the gang, 
not all your members are gonna be wise. They're probably there's probably gonna be someone that is going I would to fall say general in, I would say general incompetence from both sides. After all, they are not the ghost. Still, and it, then again, it, they need to be obvious in that they are in to supply drugs. I never deal drugs like guitar things. I also found some contradicting data on the bunkers the planet uses. The gang might be using one of the again, disused bunkers as their base of operations. That narrows it down to what? Several million bunkers? Not if we cross reference the ones that aren't being used the entire time by the population. They store goods in there, so. If we Several check for the ones bunkers? that are. For the ones that aren't in use or have contradictory data, that might limit, and it's at least a two, a lead. Then this we can go and, and find out if possibly one of the main hab areas, but that one comes with its own risks. We'd have to make it seem like we were out of towners or fools looking for a fight. Well, whatever happens, I have a feeling that this will not go smoothly. Anything involving criminal activity never goes smoothly. I know from experience. Let's just hope the casualty rate will be less than Hi. the last operation. Oh. Last operation only had one person casualty rate. That's not fun. My not yours. Oh. How many people died? Too many. That is not number, but shit. Anyways, if guilty, I have permission to kill, right? Unless I right click, then I bring him. If you can. If they serve no other purpose than to purely stand there and be guilty, then yes. Provided you can do it so it doesn't lead back to us. I was able to kill people for several years on planet without it leading back to me. Do you think I cannot do this? <laughs> there will probably be plenty of opportunities to kill some prim yourself over down there so then what's that cover gonna be Foolish Imperial Guard. I mean, I could always play criminals from other planets that manage to escape said planets by literally hopping onto spaceship. Mm, how common is that? It happens more often than you actually think it is. Often... Sh ships often require new crew. So, go down on planet, hire new crew. Criminal sneak aboard. Yeah. Usually often, not on ship directly, but on shuttle. Often enough that it's not unheard of, but not enough that it's expected. Ah, I see. It 
It would also give him reason for going and asking around about local groups, wanting to get involved or wanting to form competition. If we have some of us be the active targets with pretending to be Imperial Guard, wishing to deal with something, and then on the other side, the other criminal, provided we're discreet in informing each other of the situation, things should work well. Hmm. Question is, can we even pass for Imperial Guard? I have some of the equipment. You do realize you're looking at an Imperial Guard sergeant, right? That's one. There's five of us. There'd be two of us. I gave them the easiest. I have possible. the flak armor at least. I gave them two standard we should. I gave them two of the easiest options. Well, I have a Laslock. I don't know if that's standard equipment, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, out of care, do you have any mechanized rights? Or no. just do you have any tubes coming out of you since there is a no, server I... that keeps plugging to your ear you and recharging? I mean, it's... there is a server. <laughs> oh shit! Cap, you okay? Also, with Yeah, no, I almost fell down. down. Um, so, for <laughs> one, uh, your character <laughs> will have. Um, the five lots of uh, Mechanicus implants that are the set of basic Mechanicus implants. I mean, they're mostly internal, like only the... Oh yeah, god, what it, is it? it so the the two it, ones are external, so I think? a lot of it is going to be up to your character um, preference. However, remember, you do have a voice augment, slight one, so that you can speak binary. All tech priests kind of have their throats enhanced in a way um but of course for you if you want it to be like your portrait you know it could be a be a thing that hangs around your neck and it just produces those weird notes that you keep hearing well the group kept hearing when they were on the forge world <laughs> yes the beeps and boops but yeah it's like the elect two conductors literally just look like tattoos and those are the they're the, they're the most obvious thing you'd get outside of clothes on the surface. Yeah. If you're not Mechanicus, you'd think they're tattoos. That's how small they are. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, like, the Electrograft, unless you've gone for skull shunts and finger probes, it's no. pretty easy to disguise it. No, literally the only cybernetics I have are my eyes. It's Mechanicus thing. Yeah, the yeah. electrographs, one of your mechanics in place. How? Oh, oh, still. You, even so, if somebody can figure out you're a mechanics member, we're in, hmm. unless we're a mechanized unit, you wouldn't look too much like the pot. Do the I look like an engine here to you? I don't know what you look like. Pardon if this is offensive, but I I, I point to my your, insignia your, of the Chirurgeon. You're an odd point out, basically. I am. And if we're in the A midst of being mask. redeployed, what if they're being redeployed with us? Perhaps, but why would they be following us? And we still have to go down there and pick up a crate. Because if we're being redeployed, and they're being redeployed with us, they'd be wanting to make sure that we're actually redeployed. Or we're under orders to guard them. I gave you we may be foolish, but we're still guarding them. I gave you such a good in. You're even meeting up with a rogue trade vessel. Yeah, it would have helped. God, come on, Lord, just to see if this is plausible. Could I roam Mechanicus Lord to see how, how... What would I know about the interactions between Mechanicus and Imperial Guard, like, in the field? As far as I know out of sure. character, they are very light. You can roll, that's fine. God 
fucking god, I'm gonna. No. Can I know? I'm gonna roll fake this just for to find out. Night. Sure, if you have a. Uh, yeah, more battles. Yeah, sure, I would let you roll back <laughs> for Imperialis. Thank Welcome you. to my world, Henry. Thank Welcome you. to my world. Can I stop really figuring right? out ways to infiltrate those? <laughs> Another 99, Jesus. Right? We're so, so good at this. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Ghost, um, just to let you know, you don't have enough uh, information on the gangs. The information on the gangs is really light. No, but can I make, like, general plans? Like, okay, it's a drug gang. And I have had drug dealings before. After all, I need to get my slot from somewhere. Can I roll something like Common Law Underworld to figure out, like, what would be a good way to approach a situation? Sure. You can roll, um... You can roll that. Um... Look at all these 99s. <laughs> We've had three. We've had three. Nice are weighted. The dice are fucking weighted. Nine, I, nine, I, nine. I, I brought the Seriously, wrong. I brought the Dinch. wrong dice. Sorry, guys. Zinch can go suck a big old D. <laughs> I think Zinch is having a time of his life right now. Nine. I... <sighs> so, <laughs> you, so you guys, uh, as you what sit around, noise? as you sit around the table, you guys. Think about your decisions and your options and what could work. And Ghost, you think about your underworld connections and how you would... You know how to get sloth, but on a new world, you're not I entirely also realised sure. I was a complete fucking loner. <laughs> and your world wasn't the same as this one, so... Yeah. You, you'd, need to see, you'd need to see the world with your eyes before you can really start planning out. Um, yeah. I mean, you've pretty much all failed, haven't you? Hang on, wait. There's a, th there's a th target 50. No. Uh, uh, Diogenes has Diogenes. passed. Diogenes. Uh, so, as you think about uh, the times that you've didn't been... didn't say Yinka. <laughs> as you think about the times that you've um, read about uh, units being deployed and supply lines and this, that and the other, there are accounts of when a Mechanicus has gone along um, but this is in the field this is for making for war zones for um, and you kind of think to yourself and you look at the data that's been provided this world has never been attacked it might work you could be on a long range group um, but it's not the best plan you could come up with with a tech priest alongside and a guy out in of, a bodysuit as well um, out, of, out of character too if we were being redeployed uh, for some reason like that we'd have more soldiers with us well it's so like obviously when, the, when a fleet goes out every now and then you'll have um, certain ships break down, certain equipment break down, you'll need to messages to be sent and you know, you might not get a telepath through, it might just be a general has sent a group out to go and get him something that he wants, you know, someone with enough power, let's say Magnus um, it, it's one of those it's one of those, if they have enough sway they could do it Like I remember thinking up of going right in for Magnus that at one point, he got a load of Amasek delivered to the men at the front line under his family's name, you know, just to help with morale. So it's not unplausible, but you would need to have a good story to be like, well, my commander did. You would need to make that more of a yarn. Um, so if one I mean, of we can always was... disguise Amakos as a heretic. If one of your group was a um, Imperial Guard, you could work off your background um, that your commander uh, sent you out to pick him up something, but it would be up to them to make it believable if you... Isn't one of us actually yeah. Imperial Guard? Yeah, I'm not an Imperial Guard. Here's the thing, though. She... By fellowship, she's... <laughs> She, if she's here, she's not talking. So How is the plan for ecclesiarchy presence? So, um, 
for your if you were to go under the imperial guard um you would be using your your imperial guard knowledge for those roles to be to remember oh this is my commander of this rank he sent us out um uh, that would be slightly better but still not not great the <laughs> ecclesiarchy, um again um high ranking members of the ecclesiarchy in this uh sector probably like this wine um so it wouldn't be out you know unusual for a group to appear um with a special order but it's well it's more uncommon um honestly the first idea of being rogue trader rogue trader agent is probably still the, the smartest idea with the odd composition of this party I mean, we have a Soritas, we have a Tech Priest, an Imperial God, a guy in a bodysuit, and... Yeah, I thought we'd just established I'd be trying to <laughs> approach the criminal side or not. Is, is that an opening to a joke? If so, what is the punchline? What is Diogenes mean he's again? I've been astronomer. Yeah. I love books. I could always yeah. get a good conversation going about of mice and men. And sorry, Alexa, you asked for what their uh, presence was. Um, they do have a presence on the world. Um, again, like the Mechanicus, it is a small presence. Um, there's probably a larger presence of administratum personnel here for the logistics of sending all the stuff to here, there, and where it needs to be. Um, but they do have sh uh, a temple to the god emperor in the higher part of the hive. They do have shrines the emperor in the lower part of the hive and they do have ecclesiarchy personnel preaching to the um, population but it's not like a shrine world it's not a large presence um Saritas, we're probably not many maybe a few yeah, just for thinking. guard duty you know the uh, presence of the uh in the, in the upper part of the hive It's probably easier for her to press as rogue age, rogue trader agents. So, as a group, because um, you probably will want to do some requisitioning after this. So, as a group, how would you like to go in? And we'll leave the rest of the discussion up for next time. I mean, prospective rogue trader employees, like we're not anyone actually, like we're not nameless faces, but that's pretty much what we are for terms of, this is who we are. And we, because we're, we're people coming in trying to get a rogue trader's attention. I'd probably just strip away the, the patch of my unit. So I will, my, I will give you uh, a little reminder. You're getting left on this world, and the ship is leaving, and you're getting picked up by someone else. That is true. I said it at the start true, true. of the episode, so I figured... Yeah, I, I remember. This is... Uh, That's why I was trying to go with redeploying. <laughs> because why else would we be dropped off and left there for a bit? We're just waiting for the next ship. I mean, I'm Mechanicus. I don't really need a reason to be there. Other than Mechanicus business. The Omnissiah guides me. Omnisaya's logic is not years to know. You could probably just be getting a lift. For all intents and purposes. Okay, so you guys are going in as... Um... I'd... I'd take again rope. Just in case, and I'd like to requisition a weapon, but other than yeah, that... Yeah, we'll do that in just a sec. Um, you're going to go in as rogue trader what, workers, or you're going in as... Probably just passengers would be safer. 
I mean, that's my personal opinion. I, I mean, if, since we're buying the wine, it could literally be with some rich fucks. Well, I don't think we look the part. More like we work for some rich fucks. Okay, we some we work for some rich fucks, and then we like Walter picks a name for us that they won't actually check up on. Okay, so the entire plan of me um, going separate to try and find uh, alternative sources of information on the planet is not going to be a thing. Keep in mind, if you're going to do that, you have to not be seen coming onto the planet, or you need a disguise. So you can go off on your own, but you'll need to wait till we can get on the planet and then have a disguise for you. Mm. True. Okay, so I've got the basis of how you're going in. Um, we can leave the rest of the planning uh, in your minds whilst you're whilst you're at work, and we can come back to this next week. So, thank you everybody for joining us here in the dumbass class with me, the dyslexic gamer, as we did some torture and we did some planning and uh, investigating. So, uh, but mostly torture. But a lot of torture. So, I hope you'll uh, take care, everyone. I hope you take. Hmm, hope you take care, everyone, and I. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye. And remember, don't be a heretic. Or be a heretic. It's also fun. Oh, true. Don't be a heretic. You heretic. <laughs> but you're the heretic on fire. Now I think I need to see if I can. Try